It directly impairs the rights of voters to cast meaningful votes in the general election. That's National Ballot Access Legal Counsel Paul Rossi speaking to Fox 13 News on behalf of the Robert F. Kennedy Jr. campaign. They're claiming Utah's early filing deadline is unconstitutional. And we're challenging it so the voters of Utah, like every other state in the nation, they have a right to cast ballots for a candidate they might want to support. The Beehive State requires independent candidates to collect 1,000 signatures of qualified electors with the certificates of nomination. Utah imposes a deadline of January 8th for a independent candidate to file his nomination papers as well as petitions. And those petitions not only have to be collected but verified before the filing deadline of January 8th. And that is clearly unconstitutional under the 1st and 14th Amendment. Claiming there's precedent, citing a 1980 ruling from our nation's highest court. John Anderson was an independent candidate against Ronald Reagan uh, and Jimmy Carter. And he announced his candidate, candidacy after March of that year. And because Ohio's March 15th deadline was so early, and would have prevented John Anderson from making the ballot. The ruling in 1980 found voters and candidates need time to assess who the major party candidates may be to know whether they'd choose a third party candidate. Utah's Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson giving us this statement on the lawsuit filed Monday, which reads, we are reviewing the complaint. We have no comment at this time. Rossi says even though the lieutenant governor is named in the lawsuit, along with Director of Elections Ryan Cowley, he believes it's the state legislature at fault. The state legislature has shown absolute contempt for the Constitution, absolute contempt for, to the voters of Utah to be able to cast a vote for a candidate they might want to support. The campaign asking the court for an immediate temporary restraining order on the rule and to impose an August deadline, they say, which is more in the middle ground of most states. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.